Hello crafters, today I wanted to share with you my crafty haul that I purchased from Keep On Crafting in Barry St Edmund, Suffolk. Um, before I do, I just want to say that I'll be doing a lot more YouTube videos in 2018. So if you don't already subscribe, it would be great if you could hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon so you get the notifications. I'm going to start with the scrapbook papers. These are from Kaiser Craft, they're double sided. I've got two sheets of those. And four sheets from Craft Creations. I won't be using them for scrapbooking, I'm using them for a December daily. If you don't know what that is, there are lots of YouTube videos out there on these sorts of things. Sometimes they're referred to as traveller's notebooks. I've made a start with some um, scrapbook papers that were also from Keep On Crafting. And I've added little flips and washi tape and journaling cards and pockets. And I will be filling it with journaling and memories and photographs from December and I will share a flip through when that is finished. I bought these hunky dory little book of planes, trains and automobiles and nautical. I thought these would make great cards for guys in particular. Um, you get 140 pages uh, I think it's six of each design. Um, so it's basically a book full of toppers. Um, mine look a little bit sparse and empty because I've shared them with my mum. So they're a lot thicker than this, obviously, normally. There's heaps of different images. And like I say, great for guys' cards. Well, any cards really um, you could also use them in scrapbooking or journaling and talking about journaling scrapbooking mixed media etc I have been adding to my inky and messy range as I like to call it I've got two more distressed oxides I've got quite a few of these now not the whole range but I'm adding to them slowly and I'm really enjoying using them so I recently bought the, as you saw, Salty Ocean and Wild Honey. And I've already put those on my colour chart. I also bought an orange Wink of Stella pen. So I already had these ones. And I wanted orange the other day and didn't have it. So I figured it was time to buy it. I like these because they're a controlled way of adding glitter. I don't really like glitter because it gets so messy. <laughs> I know that might sound odd because I don't mind getting messy, but glitter is just so fine and fly away and it gets everywhere, all over the furniture, all over me, all in my hair, all in the dog. And it just it's just really irritating for me anyway. So this is a great way of adding it. It's quite subtle. You can also watercolour with them. So yeah, I, I really like them. I know there are other sparkle pens out there, but Wink of Stella are my choice of sparkle pen. And I also bought this um, metallic luster paint. It's part of the Sweet Poppy range. And it's a, this colour is Strawberry Sorbet. And as you can see, it's pretty yummy. It's sort of a pinky peach, which is lovely. I've just got that all over my fingers, but not to worry. And also on the colour medium front, I've got some eye zinc inks. I've got this one, which is a brown. I'm not entirely sure how you say the name. It looks like ombre. Now, I don't think it's ombre because as far as I'm concerned, that's different colours graded through. But this is, like I say, it's a solid brown, basically. And orchid and mango. These are a bit sparkly or metallic, uh, also a little bit translucent. I have added those to my colour chart, but I don't think 
you can really see the sheen or the sparkle. So that's the orchid there, and this is the mango. And down here is the gold, I think, 3D paste. So I'll show you that next. I really like that. I've already got the tulip and cactus. These are really nice pastes to work with. And obviously because they're already coloured, it's just more convenient. So sticking with the mixed media inky messy range, I've got a, another mould from Katie Sue Designs. This is clock. And you can also use them with your clay or your sugar paste. I use the hearty air dry clay. And I've got a couple of projects in mind for that one. So look out for those. And also bought some stencils. This is Grungy Arrow. Again, it's going to be great for journaling and mixed media, etc. And a fairly new range to keep on crafting is the Artistic Flare stencil range. This is Antique Clock, I think. Yep. And then I got three of these tab sets which are really handy because they have a hole in them so you can put them onto a key ring and then that's a great way to store them so I've got uh, perfect words again I chose these ones because of the journaling and memory keeping that I want to do in uh, 2018 and these ones are together tabs and finally, memory tabs. I like the fact they're all different fonts as well. And I also added to my woodware range of stamps. Now, these are the ones I bought last time. So this is, I think it's Toadstool Clump, and that's by Jane Jill. And this is a trio of or, or three toadstools. That's also by Jane Jill. And you've got some sentiments on there as well. And then three here by Francois Reed. So we've got uh, Being Positive, which has got lots of different sayings on. I've used a couple of those already. And Vintage Pocket Watchers and Vintage Circles. They're also by Francois Reed. So to add to that range, on Saturday, I bought another small pile. Um, well, this one I bought last time, actually, this um, torn paper frames, but works really well with the crumpled paper. I'm just going to come out a bit so you can see that a bit better. Yeah, so they work really well together. Um, I've also bought a sparkly butterfly. I think it's going to be great with messy backgrounds. Old oak tree. I plan to use this in some of my journaling and memory keeping because we live only a few doors away from a nature reserve. So it's going to come, on, come in really handy because it will work really well with some of the photographs I've got from there. This is a collage type one, which is a single eye. And we've got postage frame. And again, for journaling and memory keeping, these ones are explanations. And you can obviously cut down bits of these. I have used the time one, but I've used just the word time and not the progress of existence part. So it's really easy to do that. And then finally, Jar of Dreams. And that's one of Jane Jill's designs as well. And oh, that is it. So as I said, I have to do more videos in 2018. So if you could subscribe, please do so. Uh, that would be great. And have a wonderful Christmas. And I will see you in the new year. Bye.